In a speech in Berlin, Muslagadi alluded to the need for the Eurozone to protest against the so-called populism, as seen in Brexit in this month's Italian elections, and the protectionism of President Trump's trade tariffs. She said, there are other, forceful headwinds threatening, think of the rise of populism and the short-sighted siren call of protectionism, G-E-T-T-Y-E-U-R-O-Z-O-N-E latest, Christine Lagarde has called for a rainy day, fund MS Lagarde said the sustained and broadly shared upswing in the global economy offered a precious window of opportunity for governments to complete the architecture of the Eurozone. The initial decision to get to work on building an emergency fund could start quickly. She said, within the next six months or so there could be a meeting of minds on the general principles and timeline. There are other, forceful headwinds threatening. Think of the rise of populism and the short-sighted siren call of protectionism. Christine Lagarde, head of the IMF even if details took five years to hammer out, the announcement would let it be public that members of the currency union stick together for the eurozone to prepare for the next downturn. She urged members to develop a modernized capital markets union an improved banking union and to move towards greater fiscal integration, starting with a central fiscal capacity that would reassure investors. Eurozone countries would contribute to the rainy day fund each year, building up assets in good times that they could then tap during a downturn. She said that in extreme circumstances, countries could borrow from the fund and repay loans with future contributions. Mrs. Lagarde recommended that countries pay a premium in good times based on the benefits they receive in bad times, incentivizing members to streamline their economies and maintain fiscal discipline. The rainy day fund, known as fiscal capacity, in Brussels' corridors of power, was an idea for the eurozone launched in the wake of the sovereign debt crisis. Mrs. Lagarde's comments support France's calls to pool eurozone debt. In October last year President Emmanuel Macron appealed to German Chancellor Angela Merkel to back increasing fiscal capacity in the Eurozone. However, the path towards a common Eurozone budget remains controversial in Germany. Voters fear a so-called budget will lead to a pooling of all Eurozone national debt with Berlin picking up the tab for poorer and most irresponsible member states. However, Germany also remains concerned that a fundamental weaknesses in the Economic and Monetary Union EMU, only served to worsen the sovereign debt crisis, and the eurozone remains exposed to the risk. Although Germany is wary of carrying the burden of eurozone debt, there is a sense that, with the sun now shining, the time is right to fix the roof. The idea has its origins in a paper on the events surrounding the eurozone crisis, published in September the 2016 pointing towards the creation of a specific fiscal capacity for the countries that have adopted the single currency. In the longer term, a so-called fiscal capacity could lead to the establishment of a dedicated euro-area budget. The idea is believed to be unpopular with German voters who fear that they would be forced to pay taxes into a budget used to bail out failing eurozone economies. However, their stance could be softening with Chancellor Angela Merkel's conservatives and the center-left Social Democrats offering some encouragement to that process in the coalition deal they sealed last month. The parties agreed to support devoting specific budget funds to economic stabilization, social convergence and structural reform in the Eurozone. Those funds, developed from the Eurozone's existing ESM bailout fund, should form the basis for a future block-wide investment budget, the parties said.